Welcome to Dr. Voip Training. This brief training segment is from the Dr. Voip Shortel 8 Administration video series. The complete 15 hours of training is available online or on DVD at drvoip.com. Let's meet our coach, Peter Buswell. Known throughout the telecom industry as Dr. Voip, Peter brings a wealth of experience to his training sessions. He has worked in telecom since 1970. He's worked exclusively in VoIP since 1998. He's a VoIP entrepreneur with three venture capital-backed businesses. He has a Bachelor of Science degree in Information Technology Management, plus certifications from some of America's leading communications companies. Let's join one of Peter's training sessions now in progress. Welcome back. Our machine has, in fact, rebooted. And on our desktop now, we will find a um, an icon that says Shore, Shortel Call Manager. And if you click that, we can continue with the process of um, installing the Shortel 8 call manager. And for those of you who do installations, um, this this is really a significant change in uh, Shortel's uh, installation process. Um, and you're really going to want to go through the process of pushing these out through MSI because there's just uh, two too long a process. It uh, averages about 15 minutes plus per desk to do this. So, And again, I like to use the server IP address rather than the server name because I, I just don't want to deal with DNS issues. So <clears throat> we should connect here momentarily. You have been successfully logged into the server. Click Next. So at this point, it's going to ask me for a new password. And I will go ahead and enter that. Again, those of you who who do installations, uh, this, this password here is the password for my voicemail access. We're going to uh, skip right through recording our name, but at this point, um, I, I, if I hit the record button, I will. My phone will ring. In this case, Mr. DeGray's phone will ring, and he'll be able to record his name, and stop and rewind and play back and keep doing it until he gets it right. Um, this is my instant messaging account. So once again, it's asking me for my uh, username and in this uh, sense we've set up the domain to log in with uh, Mr. DeGray's uh, email address and as we don't have uh, um, Outlook installed on this machine I'm just going to uncheck that or the system will attempt to do an integration with Microsoft Outlook those of you who do installations on a regular basis will realize that starting the short tell call manager when uh, your user logs in automatically will be very useful because um, it keeps you from having to deal with uh, maintaining passwords for your user group. So I'll just go ahead and log in. And at this point, um, We've got a couple of different things going on on our screen here, but as you can see, I do in fact have a really new uh, call manager. Of um, For those of you on Shortel, anything before 8 will find this uh, pretty unique looking little beastie here. Uh, I've now got a contact tab, my voicemail tab, is uh, here. I don't currently have any messages in my inbox. Um, history is now a tab and a directory is 
is online. So some of the functionality of an advanced call manager is included here. Keep in mind that what you're looking at here is the professional call manager. From an appearance perspective, it doesn't look any different than the personal call manager, but I have some options. For example, if I go under options here, I can at this point uh, um, look at video and configure my video camera. So I can also go to instant messaging here, see if we can figure out um, how Mr. DeGray is doing with his login to OCS. Still getting an error there. We'll use that uh, as part of our troubleshooting section to come back and take a look at that. But uh, at the moment, we've got a fully operational call manager, and that's about uh, what it takes to install the uh, Shortel call manager. We're going to go over this in greater detail uh, because we're going to sign into the system and uh, configure some buttons for Mr. DeGray. So that'll be interesting. At this point, I'll, I'll probably just want to add some uh, contacts for, for Mr. DeGray. So keep in mind that um, we're adding it's just going to pop up uh, you'll see that Mr. Eastwood here is part of the um, instant messaging system and I could go ahead and organize my clients um, in groups that make um, that make sense to me but at this point I've just created these um, three contacts Taking a quick look at the standard call manager, uh, under options here, you'll see that uh, I can now go home had I been configured uh, for Office Anywhere. Um, I might have had myself enabled to an external uh, phone number, the famous 555-12 number. And uh, external, external assignment is an exciting feature in Shortel, and it's very powerful. We'll talk more about that later. I'm not really here to talk a whole lot about benefits, but just show you how to administer this stuff. But you can use the Office Anywhere feature to uh, basically extend your office phone to your home phone, your hotel phone, your cell phone, and have all of the control that you would have as if you were sitting right there in the office. So at this point, uh, I could have selected my soft phone since uh, Mr. DeGray had that privilege. At this point, I'm going to send him home. And as you'll notice here, my call handling mode is now home. Those of you familiar with Shortel Call, Handling will see nothing really new here. It's just the format in which it's pre uh, it's presented. Uh, if we go under dial, uh, clearly I can make calls, dial mailbox, uh, do all of the kinds of things I previously uh, was able to do using uh, the call manager in you know six, seven, seven five, etc. And depending upon my privileges, they will uh, show up and following the rules. If it's not an option, don't show it to me. So clearly I can't uh, control A or click to answer because I don't have a ringing phone call. So uh, options again can be gotten from tools or it can be gotten by right clicking on the, the Superman, Super Sign, Super Shortel up here. And we go into our uh, um, options here and you can uh, set up your standard call handling modes and we're going to go through call handling modes in greater length from a system administration point of view.